right, we are embarking on the two final episodes of season three of Dark. And I have to say, man, um, in my last review, I'm not going to waste too much time on my intro here. But in my last review, as I just finished doing it, I mean, my the sentiment that I have about this show is, it's just, it's so brilliant to the point where it's a show that you can't, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't necessarily put your finger on what's going on, right? And in my opinion, that's the brilliance behind the writing in the show because it keeps you intrigued and at the same time, keep your understanding at bay. If, if you get what I'm saying, my God. Let, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's jump in. See you guys for the review. All right, let me take off the headphones. This is my dark review. Okay, so I just read an article while that episode was ending. Read an article because I wanted to know for sure if there was going to be a season four or not. The way how this ended, you know, kind of leave things up in the air a little, a little bit, in my opinion. But it still didn't, you know what I'm saying? But let's talk about it, right? So I'm going to say this off the bat already. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say this off the bat. I'm not going to wait till the end of the video to let you know what my rating of this show is. This show, three seasons, 10 slash 10. 10 out of 10. For me, it hit all the points that I would want to see in any series. Whether it be, you know what I'm saying, a, a full long ass series or... Or a short series like this, only three seasons. Um, I read the article, and it said, and it it said that that's what they had in mind from the get go was to do three seasons of this show, right? Three seasons. That's all they wanted to do. That's what they did. And I have to say, bravo, bravo. I don't understand. I am going to be watching some other people's review on YouTube after I finish doing mine. Of course, I'm going to be watching some other people review the show and see what they thought of it. Because especially the big reviewers of TV series, hopefully they have seen it and I will watch their review of it. Um, people like, you know, Chris Stuckman, um, some others that I watch that review movies and you know, TV series and stuff like that. Hopefully, especially Chris Stuckman, I, I love him. I love how he reviews stuff. Give you a really good opinion of what to expect in a show, even if you have not watched it and you want to have, you know, an opinion about it, you know. Um, but usually once I finish a series, if he's watched it and if he's done a review, I usually watch it um, to hear what he has to say because he's, he's someone that's in the film industry, so it's it's nice to get his perspective on stuff when he watches stuff, you know, um, and what he grades stuff on. He's a really harsh, like I'm not as harsh as him when it comes on to watching this stuff because I also, in, in my opinion, when it comes on to my rating, it's all about, you know, we have the technical aspect and I also give it an extra boost of how much did I enjoy it. You get what I'm saying? For him... You know, he gives a complete critical um, view. He's a critique. He critiques the, the, the work, the art, right? But for me, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I put a little bit of emotion in there to, to give it that extra boost um, sometimes. Because, you know, if I should go completely technical on, on my reviews on whatever shows I'm watching... Most of them wouldn't get 10 out of 10. Let's, I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? But because I enjoyed it, it kept me engaged. The pacing was was awesome. You know, you know, a lot of that brings a lot of these. I think this is, I've given seasons 
10 out of 10. I've given season 10 out of 10. I think this is probably my first series completed that I'm going to give a 10 out of 10 for the complete series, TV series, not anime, TV series on the channel. I think this is going to be the first one with no hesitation, with no hesitation. So let's talk about it after four minutes. <laughs> All right. Videography, scene, video, video, videography, sound design, enjoyment factor, pacing, everything just came together to create a perfect series. Now, we, I'm going to put the story aside for now and just talk about these technical aspects of the series they chose the perfect scenario to represent what they wanted to represent. The forest, the, the cave, the, the, all of these things were chosen perfectly. The, 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 the houses, everything just worked together. The school scenery, the, um, you know, the future scenery of everything being decimated. They did a very good job of letting you feel like that stuff was happening for real. The power plant. Everything just look so it was perfectly chosen and I found no fault when it comes on to, to the scenery, the videograph, the videography, right? I found no problems with the aesthetics of the show. No issue at all. Like the time period, they made sure that, you know, the characters were wearing certain clothes for the time period. That, you know, if you grew up in the 80s, you would know these things. If you grew up in the 90s, you would know these things. If you grew up in the 2000s, you know, things are a little bit different. And they went on to the, to, the, to the extent to really show you all of those things. And they stay true to that, right? The sound design in this, in this show is absolutely off the chain. The cues... The way how they use music to represent certain things, you know what I'm saying? The Louis Armstrong original um, soundtrack, even though it was somebody else that was singing it, you know what I'm saying? That is a, a classic song. I see streams of green, and they ended it with it too. Very perfect. The opening song was perfect also, and just the little sound. <laughs> I tried to make that sound. It did not go well, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? That one sound that they play every now and then. That sound right there was was perfectly executed, cued in at the perfect moments. It was done very well. Little little sounds. You know, um it sounded like they filmed in the rain a lot. I don't think it was fake rain. I think they actually just filmed a lot of this stuff in when when it was raining and if it was fake rain they did an excellent job of doing that i mean you know what i mean like they you know it's not hard to do that but you know what i'm saying i don't know where this stuff was filmed i guess you guys could tell me that if the, if this was actually filmed in germany or did they film it at a different location you know and maybe they, you know what I'm saying? Like they just simulated somewhere in Ger Germany or something like that. I don't know. But the aesthetics were awesome. They were awesome. They did a very good job with that. Sound design, off the chain, as I said before. So now, let's talk about the story. Because that is the most important thing in this entire thing. You know that I've already given the show 10 out of 10. So you know this story. Now, this story did not give you any clues as to how it was going to conclude until the final episode. Now, to keep an audience engaged for how many? 16 and 10, 26 episodes. It's basically like a full season as what we're used to getting, like 24 episodes a season, like a full season of regular TV. To keep, a, to keep an audience engaged... For, for 26 hours, basically, right? 
of binge watching, whether you binge watch this or whether you took two days and watched all of this or whatever the situation, whether you binge watch it or whether you waited on the seasons, seasons to come out, however the experience, if you just started watching this when it just dropped, I can imagine you having to wait close to a year for the second season to drop and the third season to drop. What's going through your mind? Do I really come back to this show? It's so damn confusing. What is happening? Why did we find out that Jonas exists in so many different places and, you know, his younger self, future self, all of this other stuff became literally meaningless <laughs> in the final two episodes of this of the third season where they're locking down everything and just bringing everything into a, a conclusion literally we found out that basically these two worlds that were created martha's world and Jonas's world if you want to call it that were two worlds that were created because somebody and there were a lot of hints towards this towards this whole you know what i'm saying humans you know, we do so many things based on emotion, don't even know, you know, what we create or what what is the the off chance that we affected somebody else uh, by doing this selfish thing because we want, you know what I'm saying, out of emotion because we, we might want something back or, you know, emotionally charged to do something stupid that might affect somebody else. But you don't care as long as you get what you want. You get what I'm saying? So there's a lot to look into, man. A lot to look into here with this series that I really enjoyed and drawing parallels from. Because even though it ended up that those two worlds, the worlds that we started with and the world that was introduced at the end of season two were two fake worlds. They, they were not supposed to exist. You get what I'm saying? They were not supposed to exist, but in going through all of this stuff with these characters and seeing how they act and the things that they do for their kids and for family and all of this other stuff and the cheating. And, and I am keep saying that, yo, all these adults are, are so damn, they're trash. You get what I'm saying? I was trashing them the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Except for a couple, of course, you know what I'm saying, of, uh, that really you know, was doing things, and I was like, maybe I would have done that too, you know, they were just such, I mean, a lot, basically, none of these characters had very redeeming qualities about them, they all, always ended up doing stuff out of pure selfishness, a lot of times, even, you get what I'm saying, like, one child goes missing, and you forget you have two others, you get what I'm saying? That's terrible parenting because they're going through the same thing, you know, but the thing about the human mind is that you think, you know, they're safe. So I don't really have to, you know, coddle them anymore, but they're still going through the same thing. I mean, Martha and Martha and Magnus, right, was going through the same thing. They were going through the pain of lo losing Mikkel too, but the two parent both Ulrich and, and Katharina completely forgot that they had two other kids. And they had a right to look at them and, and cuss, cuss their ass out. Martha, you know what I'm saying, cussed her out. It was like, nah, you're not going to stop us from doing what we're doing. Because you didn't care. Why you care now? You know what I mean? So I completely understood what they were going through in that. Because you can't do that. And that's why I said. It's like it's very, none of the adults... I mean, Alexander is a freaking, he, he, he killed someone and run, said it was an accident. I don't know. We don't even know what that was all about. He killed dude's brother from season two that we found out. And he thinks the dude killed his brother and took his identity. But he was like, ah, oh, whatever. He can't prove it. He ended up causing the freaking apocalypse at the end of season two. Right? I mean, these, I mean, it's just crazy. And then, and, and then to find out that this, this entire time, everything that was happening is an infinite loop because they're stuck in the loop 
because the origin world, because of what happened in the original world. I didn't know they was going to tie it all back to the guy that wrote the freaking book. This entire time, he's the one that caused the entire, that created these two other universes or two other worlds, right? This infinite loop. He's the one that did it. So all of these worlds, quite frankly, they didn't exist. They weren't supposed to exist. So once you save the couple, it causes him not to do that, to, to do the experiment or try to bring his family back. And him not doing that doesn't create the other world. So everybody else had to disappear. Right? But also, that final scene is what I, is what really kind of had me thinking there at the end because I'm like, aren't all these people supposed to disappear? None of them were actually supposed to exist. So why would they end it like that? Why are those people alive? Are they existing in the original world? Are they, or did they survive the, dis, the, the disappearing of the two worlds or the, the destruction of the two worlds that were fake? Did they survive that? So there's still questions. You get what I'm saying? But that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? This whole series was just a big troll. And I loved it. I loved it. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I know there's probably going to be people that didn't like the ending. I know there's people out there that probably did not like our dark ends. I loved it. I love the fact that they they did a one basically a one hour 50 minute episode to finish out the series to give you enough time to feel to to get the explanation from Claudia to Jonas and then Jonas explaining it to Martha with Ava or Adam and Ava whatever you want to call them the older ones you know, it just creates this infinite loop, you know, and I think, I mean, it, it was very touching. Don't get me wrong. It was very touching to see Jonas and Martha and what they say to each other all the time is, is like, we're perfect for each other. And the thing about it is that they're perfect, but they're also the glitch in the matrix, which is just story wise and thinking wise it's just absolutely brilliant. You get what I'm trying to say? It's like, even though we're perfect, we're also imperfect. We are perfect imperfections. You get what I'm saying? So at the end, ah, oh man, it's, it's, it's like a, a love story. It's like a love story, but not really. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, and that's pretty much the conclusion of the entire show. It's like, it's good. You know, you'll find that, okay, this is good, but the same thing could be not so good. So it's like, this might be perfect, but the same thing could be not so perfect. You know what I'm saying? Or not perfect. So it's like, you, you get into this conundrum of, feelings when you watch this show because you're like for the first time because i know it's the second time i i'm i'm planning to watch this again at some point maybe with my girl you know what i'm saying and it's going to be it's going to be a fun ride for the second time around because it's like it's it's just you can see like me just thinking about the things is just it, it's just like it's it's like a lot of the stuff you watch the show and you're just like, why is all this stuff just, you feel like everything is just going over your head because it's supposed to just go over your head because you're not supposed to understand what is going on. And that's the, the crux of the show is you're not supposed to understand what is going on in this series. You're just not. First time around watching the show, you're not supposed to get anything because the entire thing is a hoax. It's a troll. You get what I'm saying? It's a troll. They're trolling you the entire time, letting you think that all this stuff actually exists when it's not supposed to. You get what I'm saying? It all happened for two and three quarter series seasons, right? For two and three quarter seasons, 
this entire thing is happening and you don't even know that it's all fake. It's all fake. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to exist. These two worlds are not supposed to exist. You know what I mean? And I'm going to have to go back and watch to see and, and look at the dreams and stuff because I think the dreams tell a lot too and I don't think I paid attention enough as I said my second time around watching it a lot of things are going to click a lot of things are going to click because from the way how it ended there are so many things that was in those ending scene from them being in the tunnel together seeing their younger selves each other through the closet and stuff like that like there's a lot that was revealed there that I think correlates with some of the dreams and stuff that they've had always dreaming about each other having you know what i'm saying getting down and dirty you know what is that about you know everything has to happen the same way it happened so that they can get back they you, you know what i'm saying Jonas thinking that he has to kill martha and the and the and the origin basically he thinks that they're the origin her baby you know, this is crazy. Why did certain people, why did, why did Martha's son, why did, was he killing all these people? You know, why did those things have to happen? Why did he have to kill those people for everything to fall in place? I don't understand. You so, you see, so there's still certain things that was done that I think a second time watching through this series is going to explain a lot to me and I'm definitely going to do that so yes my god my god dark I think this is I think this is have to go down as one of the greatest short series that I've ever watched like under five seasons I think um as a short season where it's like five seasons or less in TV shows, I would definitely put it up there with the Breaking Bads of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to. I have to. In my opinion, um, TV shows, five seasons, five seasons or less, um, Breaking Bad, greatest of all time. Hands down, greatest of all series greatest of all time series tv series five seasons or less greatest of all time dark definitely moving up into that number two spot right now if you guys have better send it to me <laughs> if you have better send it to me i could put justified up there too if i remember hold on how many seasons does justify have i think justified had six seasons if i'm not mistaken i think justified i think justified had six seasons if i um yeah i think it wait seven yeah because they yeah they were supposed to do a seven season plus justified i can't put it up there i mean mainly because yeah season six justified is is one of my favorite tv shows but i it's it, it's it's not even my top 10 to be honest i loved it because i mean oliphant is just oliphant is just i mean he's a brilliant actor you know what i'm saying so um love the dude in anything that he does I got introduced to him as an actor through watching him in, in the Hitman movies, um, the first Hitman, and then I was on to him and I just watched everything that he was in after that. Um, so, brilliant actor. But Justified, I mean, they could have ended that series stronger in my opinion. Um, I think it could have gone in a different direction. I don't want to spoil anything by talking about it. Um, but you know, I just brought it up because I thought it had just five seasons, but um, but it's out, it's actually six seasons of Justified. So definitely great, great, great stuff, man. Dark, they did it, they did it, man. They did it, 
they did that thing. They 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 put they put their foot down. They 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 put they 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 elbow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In that thing. They they cooked it up and it tasted good. So all I want you guys to do is let me know in the comment section, man, what you guys thought of this series the first time you watched it. Not the second time or the third time. The first time you watched the series, let me know how you felt about the ending. Okay? Appreciate y'all, as always. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys gave this series throughout the time, man. You guys killed it. I think we averaged around 200 views for each, um, for each upload two episodes per upload so i really do appreciate y'all um it i mean to be honest dark did better than most of the series on the channel tv series on the channel so i mean hey i gotta give i gotta thank you guys for that so i appreciate y'all make sure you like the video and of course it's your boy terabyte reacts 10 out of 10 for dark man no doubt see you guys later peace